Okay, so today I'm going to demonstrate how to download a video from YouTube using a little bit of a different tool. I've previously recommended the Firefox plugin called Video Download Helper, but this is another free uh, standing program that's available for the Mac and the PC called 4K Video Downloader. Uh, it will download 4K videos, but it'll also give you a choice of the resolution that you can download. So it's it's kind of nice in that way. Um, it's free to start with. I think if you use it over a certain period, you will have to eventually pay for it. Um, it's not too expensive. I think it's $20 or less. But let's show you 4K video downloader. I've got a video in Safari. Um, it's the Charlie Chaplin, uh, the Charlie Chaplin fork dance. And I want to eventually narrow this video down to just the clip of him doing the dance with the bread rolls. Um, so I want to grab this video. So I've, I've, I'm on the YouTube page where this video exists. The easiest way that I've found is you basically want to copy the URL of the YouTube video. And I usually just click on the share button. The link is already highlighted, so I'll just do uh, Command C or Control C if I'm on a PC and just get that uh, URL to the clipboard. Then I go to the 4K video downloader program and I click on paste URL. And it'll do this parsing thing. And basically what I can do next is choose the quality that I want to download. I'm gonna choose in this case the highest quality, which is 480p. So I'll click on the download button. And a short video shouldn't take too long. So you'll see the progress bar and it's done and I can go, I can play this in the program that's uh, dedicated to, to playing these videos or I can go ahead and start editing the program. I can right click and say show in finder and then it'll show me the folder that exists, um, it showed me the, the, the file that exists on my hard drive and I'll just have to move that window in into the view here and it's this, this Charlie uh, Chaplin, the fork dance. So now I've got this video that I can edit uh, later in another program. 